This is your Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, February the 6th, 2019. Today is the feast of Paul Miki and the Japanese martyrs of Nagasaki in 1597. St. Francis Xavier, who co-founded the Jesuits, set sail for India by way of Japan and had great success bringing Christianity there. He arrived in Japan in 1547, but stayed less than a year. Japan was a Shinto nation with a large minority of Buddhists. Still, St. Francis Xavier made a number of converts with the support of the imperial government. The faith continued to spread such that after 50 years, the shoguns started to be concerned that it would grow too large. And it turns out that the imperial government had only ever welcomed the church as a way to disenfranchise the Buddhists. When Catholicism started to grow too quickly, he decided to execute the leaders of the strongest Catholic community in Japan, which was at Nagasaki. 26 men were rounded up, three Jesuits, Paul Miki, James Kisai, and John Soandagoto, along with 23 Franciscans. The men were crucified in public, and record was made of their reactions, their sufferings, and their preternatural peace. Some of the crucified even gave sermons while they hung on the crosses. Shusaku Endo's novel Silence is a generally accurate telling of the story, except for the blasphemous and pathetic ending, which never happened and which all but ruins the rest of the story. In that novel, some of the religious brothers are given a choice to stomp on an image of Jesus into the mud as a reprieve from crucifixion. Several choose to do so and are painted by Endo as heroes. It's an evil ending to an otherwise incredible book. Today in 1988, Michael Jordan competed in the NBA Slam Dunk Challenge. The event was a moneymaker for the NBA and gave the top players a chance to show off and strut a bit. In 1985 and 1986, everyone expected Jordan to win. In 87, MJ took home the gold and added it to an already legendary career. Four times NBA All-Star, three All-Star Game MVP awards, six NBA Finals MVP awards, ten scoring titles, and now slam dunk champ. But he had to bring something extra to 1988 to defend his title. And so as the event went on, Jerome Corsi became the real challenger. And Corsi had a point advantage going toward the very end, and Jordan had to do something spectacular. So he walked all the way into the backcourt, and he ran full speed toward the goal. He jumped from the free throw line, 14 feet 10 inches from the hoop, and gave us the now famous Jumpman logo. It was the beginning of Air Jordans and of a cultural phenomenon that hasn't subsided after 30 years. Today is the birthday of Bob Marley in 1945. Marley was born in Jamaica in poverty. He pioneered modern reggae music in which the guitar chops on the two and the four beat while the drum accents the three and the one is de-emphasized, which blends a jazz feel with a distinctly R&B technique. Reggae was the folk music of the 60s in Jamaica as Bob Dylan was the folk music of the 60s in the U.S. Marley sang about poverty, race, war, and the aftermath of the Caribbean slave trade. He was the undisputed voice of island plight in the 60s and the 70s. Finally today in 1911, the 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, was born. He was beloved as a local and state politician and as the governor of California. But when he was elected president, the media turned on him. And now, depending on who you read, he's either an excellent president who pioneered libertarian economic principles to repair the national economy, which had fallen to pieces under LBJ and Jimmy Carter, and led the nation through the Cold War. Or he's a pariah of anti-globalist, anti-progress, who set the nation back 20 years in comparison to Europe. Either way, Reagan had a great sense of humor. He faced down some very tough decisions and he left the nation unquestionably healthier than he found it. He waged a war on drugs and poverty, appointed some very, very excellent jurists, and set the stage for a balanced budget amendment, all while being the constant villain in the eyes of the world media. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.